Now, before we dive into all the important basics that make up Go programs, and before we learn the syntax step by step, let's get ready for writing some code. And for that, we'll need to install Go and we'll need a development environment that allows us to write Go code. And therefore, we have two main steps that you should execute right now to get started. The first step is to download and install Go. The second step is then to install a code editor so that you can write Go code in a convenient way. Now, there are many available editors, and if you have your favorite editor already, you can of course stick to that. But if you don't have that, my strong recommendation is that you give Visual Studio Code a try. It's a free editor, an amazing editor, super fast and super extensible. And you can write Go code with that editor as well, especially if you installed the Go extension. And we're going to do all these things over the next minutes now. Now let's start with installing Go, the language itself. And when I say install Go, I mostly mean that we install the compiler and all the built-in functionalities Go ships with on our system so that we get all the tooling to compile our Go code and run it. Now for this, you can simply Google for Golang to find golang.org or you directly enter that address in the browser. And on golang.org, you can download Go. Now, as it says here, Go is available for Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and more. And I'm on a Mac here, but if you are following along on a Windows machine or a Linux machine, that will also work just fine without any issues. You can click this download Go button and you should be taken to that downloads page where you can now choose your version for your operating system. So for Windows, Mac OS or Linux, and you will simply get an installer here if you download that. Now, as I said, I am on a Mac OS system, so I will go for the Mac OS download, but choose the one for your operating system. Now this will download this Go installer onto my system. And once the download finished, we can walk through that installer. And whilst the exact look of that installer, of course, will differ, the general approach is always the same. The installer opens up and you simply walk through all the steps here. Enter your password if you should be prompted. And then this will install go onto your system. On Windows, it will also prompt you for a destination where it should install Go. And my strong recommendation here is to stick to that default location since that will make things a bit easier and ensure that Go always finds all the different tools it might need to compile and run your code. Now installation can take a couple of seconds or even minutes, but ultimately it should finish. And once it finished, you are ready to go. No pun intended. Now, if you're facing any problems during installation, you can also check out that installation page that opened as soon as you started your download. And here you find more information about the installation for the different operating systems. Now, next we wanna set up a code editor so that we can write some Go code. 